everyone. Welcome back to Network 13. Today's video is about this item, which you may recognize from one of our earlier videos. Uh, but if you don't, I'll give a brief explanation. This is the circuit board from a carbon monoxide alarm. And this carbon monoxide alarm had gone end of life after approximately seven years. It purposely stopped working um, because this item here, the sensing cell, um, was no longer viable, I guess, or no longer in spec. So it, the alarm firmware it purposely kind of self-destructs or, <laughs> well, not self-destructs, but it, uh, it starts beeping at you and annoying you and telling you that you need to buy a new alarm because this one's probably not reliable anymore. So anyway, on this board, in this position, there was a PIC microcontroller soldered on right here, U4. So in the intervening months since the first video, I was able to remove this PIC microcontroller from this board and I was able to mount it on this board here. This is a PIC 16F883 in an SO wide body package and it's been adapted to fit in this 800 mil dip package. Now, what I'm able to do in this new configuration is I'm able to plug this into my programmer and I'm also able to plug it into a solderless breadboard and experiment with it. So the remainder of this video will focus on the actual removal and reinstallation of this PIC microcontroller onto this board. So we're going to use a hot air pencil and we're going to remove the pick from the carbon monoxide detector uh, PCB. Uh, this is in an SO wide body package, surface mount. We're going to remove that and we're going to mount it on this adapter board. And this adapter board will allow us to plug this into a, uh, a solderless breadboard. It's a hundred mil pitch on the pins, and I believe it's let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's eight hundred mil, eight hundred mils wide between the the rows. What we're gonna do here is we're just gonna we're just gonna heat this up the hot air pencil. There you go. Done. I just zoomed in here to show it. Not only did we take the, the pick off the board, but we also took it looks like a uh, resistor and a capacitor <laughs> fell off as well. Interesting. The method I'm going to use to do this is I'm going to I'm going to use some solder paste. I'm going to put some solder paste on one of these pads. And I'm going to use an iron to anchor the device in place. And then I'm going to use solder paste rather than wire solder to solder the pins down. And the reason I'm doing that is that the solder paste has a lower melting temperature. It's a little easier to work with. I can get a little finer detail work done here with the iron that I have. So I'll just show you. How this is going to go. It's going to just drop on like this and everything will line up. So the first thing is I'm going to get a little bit of paste on one pad. So a little bit there. And I'm going to take my tweezers and my iron and let's see if I can 
do this so I don't know if I can. Get that centered. I've got, I've got one pin anchored. I'm just gonna press down and reflow it. And that looks pretty good right there. So that's one pin. Now I have 100 more. No, I have um, 27 more to do. Just gonna get some more paste on this other corner. Hold this down and reflow. And we got a pretty good, pretty good connection there. Okay. Turn this around and do the other corners. I'm just trying not to get too much paste on when I do this. And, and end up making a mess everywhere if I, if I do that. Okay. Let's see, a little pressure there. Reheat this corner pad. Okay, and we'll do this corner pad. Okay, that's good. So we have we have four good connections on here now. So it's mechanically secured. Now we can focus on making the rest of the connections, which I will um, I'll do off camera. All right. So I finished soldering all the other pins and try to get a close up on that if I can see that. So all the connections look pretty good, pretty clean. Next step is going to be put these headers on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a wire solder for that. But same deal. What I have to do is get the corners anchored. So I'll start with this corner here. What we want to do is make sure that, that we're perpendicular to the board or as much as possible. top corner now. You can't see this on camera, but I'm, I'm doing this through a, a microscope because uh, you can't see the microscope in the shot, but it's, it's right above the work area here. Um, and the reason I'm using a microscope is because, well, it makes it easier, but also I'm getting old and I have trouble seeing things. <laughs> um, the microscope helps quite a bit. Okay, so we have two. We have the two uh, ends anchored. Now we just have to do the rest on that side. And let's get the other side. Get the other side in. That should be pin one. In one, I apologize if you can't see some of this, if my big stupid glove is in the way, but. Okay. 
Oh, that looks pretty. That looks pretty good. I'm getting number 14 now. Okay, that's 14. So, I have, let's get a good shot of that. So these are, these are pretty much 90 degrees to the PCB. They're inserted all the way in. They're flush. Plastic part is flush. And I have uh, four good connections on the corners. Now I'm, I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera. To show you a few of these, hopefully, hopefully my hand doesn't get in the way. Um, so a few of these connections, and these pins are large enough where I can use the wire solder. I can control it, the flow a little better. find a good angle where I can do this and the camera stays in focus and actually if I do this all right so I've just locked I locked the focus on the cameras so maybe that helps I just realized I had the, uh, the exhaust hood on. I don't know how much of that you could hear, but I'll do the rest of this with it off. It's 25, 24. few can really see what's going on maybe maybe you can might be reaching the limits of this iPhone camera I'm not sure okay that's the last one So there we have it. Zoom out. Next step's going to be just to clean this up. So I'm going to get some alcohol and a brush and just clean this flux off of here. Let's clean this up. Okay, so I finished um, cleaning this up. I cleaned this with some alcohol and an acid brush, and I took a few passes to get all the flux off, but there it is. Okay, so this is the final result. This is our PIC 16F883 microcontroller that we removed from the carbon monoxide detector. It's mounted on our adapter board, which is adapting 28 lead SO wide body to a 28 lead dip, 100 mil pitch and 800 mil wide. Okay, so here is our, our PIC microcontroller on our adapter board, plugged into a solderless breadboard, and I've got a really simple circuit wired up here. And I wrote a really simple program, and I'll show you what it does. Power this up, 3.3 volts, and there you go. Blink, 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 blink. <laughs> uh, success.
Okay. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below the video. Or you can write to network13.contact at gmail.com. Network13.contact at gmail.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for watching.